Hello, uh, my name is Kruth Ithu, and I'm going to present the paper Assessing CS1 Design Skills with a String Manipulation Task. A brief um, index of my talk, I will uh, explain the motivation and the background, um, describe the task we use and how we collected data, um, and then present a summary of um, the results from an analysis of that data, uh, focusing on how well students can design plans and how well they can implement it and then a brief summary. So the main motivation is that um, we believe CS1 students should um, be acquiring some basic design skills as per ACM curriculum. So by the end of the course, they should be able to create um, algorithms for simple tasks and also implement them and test them. Um, we, um, in regards to data structures on CS1, we mostly cover arrays and strings. So we design a simple uh, task to manipulate the strings. Um, we also, because we have a large class, many CS1 classes, uh, when we says set assessment, we need a variation of task uh, for different sessions. So we want to understand if that variations have an impact on um, the designs. Very brief background, when we learn to program, we do have to learn one to code and to implement a particular programming language, and we also have to learn some programming strategies or design. Most of the work on novice programming has focused on coding issues, especially the struggles um, and misconceptions of novice programmers. Um, there is some design papers on um, to working groups. There is also some papers that focus on the rainfall problem um, that look at how um, well students can extend a sum plan to deal with invalid or missing inputs. So we create a, a task um, that accepts one word, in this example, hello, and we want to print it in pyramid style. So we want to print one letter, two letters, three letters, until we print the full word. As we um, have multiple classes, we need uh, variations of the task. So we um, make them print the letter uh, pyramid um, going up, pyramid going down. Uh, we make other variations in which instead of removing the letter, we are replacing letters with stars. So we end up with also a pyramid of stars. Uh, we collect the data on an exam. The last week of semester, we had 340 students and they were distributing on the different tax versions as shown on the screen. Um, we focus, uh, we analyze first the first group by doing a visual inspection of their um, code. And we found there was two dominant approaches. So we classify the coding plans in um, relation to uh, the level they print to manipulate the word. So they treat it as a full word, as a string, or they treat it as a list of letters, as an array of characters. Um, we also, once we map into a plan, we also look at how correctly they implement each step of the plan. Um, so um, overall, we found that uh, more than half of the class used the character plan, they print letter by letter. Only 31% used the string plan. Um, this wasn't what we were expecting because we have taught um, a workshop on strings um, the week before. And so we were expecting more transfer from that workshop. We also found 10% uh, of the students couldn't develop a plan and 6% develop um, mostly incorrect plans. So let's have a look at um, what these two plans were. A string plan um, is a plan that has three steps. The first step iterates over the length of the word to print one line at a time. And then in each iteration, it prints the word and then it modifies the word either by uh, shrinking it or by adding letters or by replacing it with the stars. Um, second type of plan, character plan, um, it has two nested for loops. The first loop 
um, prints one line. Um, the second group decided how many letters were going to print on that given line. And then um, after we finished printing the letters, we need a new line before we start with the next um, iteration. In this case, adding stars um, make it um, the plan more complicated because now we need an additional step to print um, stars. So when we look at a uh, plan implementation, we can see that um, most on the first three variations, most students implemented uh, the character plan. Um, and only on the last variation, the down with the star, um, there was a similar number of students choosing each plan. And in average, half of them were um, incorrect. If we look at the steps to see why they were incorrect, we found the first step um, is the same on both plans. It normally has one of errors, so we iterate one step too many. In the string plan, the hardest step was to manipulate the string to shrink it or make it larger. In the character plan, um, the second step, deciding how many letters to print, um, have more errors. It was harder than the first one. And also um, adding stars add a lot of complexity to the step three. Um, when we look at misconceptions, we found um, on the example we have below, this student has you know, common errors we found before, like one of error, uh, or it tried to um, tell the um, computer how to remove one letter with the wrong syntax. We also find a small number, about a dozen of um, students that exhibit what Perkins called conglomerate knowledge. So they are um, trying to implement steps two and three at the same time by telling the computer to print the string and stop at the letter indicated by AL. Obviously this is incorrect and we need to break that into two commands. In summary, um, we have collected data on a simple task uh, so we can um, capture the design efforts of CS1 students we see that they're actually ready to develop simple plans. So 85% of the students come with their own correct plan, but only 49% could implement it correctly. Uh, this means that um, there is a significant number of students that need more support to be able to debug and test programs. Uh, other insights. Um, we think the reason why students choose the character plan is because we have lots of uh, practice on iterating over arrays, so they are more familiar with um, arrays than with the strings. And there was also some evidence of planning on the fly, so um, variations that are easy to plan on the fly um, have a um, better success rate. So that's something we want to investigate later. That's all. Thank you.